Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to talk today about how the second week of homeschool went. So this will be an update on our progress so far, uh, week two of homeschooling third grader. So with week two, we have sort of gotten into the groove of things. Um, the child is waking up on time, getting ready quickly. We're starting at our planned start time, which for us is eight o'clock and we finish at 12 right in time for lunch. Um, the kid really actually does enjoy the morning work, even the cursive and editing, which I kind of thought they might not. Um, but I'm really happy to see that that morning work is going smoothly and that we are getting into the core subjects um, at a reasonable time. Um, definitely we found that doing more of the hands-on activities work really well for the kid. Uh, really enjoy hands-on, whether that's art or language arts or science, um, all of those types of things, geography. We're really gonna focus on incorporating more hands-on. We've done a lot of hands-on activities so far. So we've gone out and we've taken notes with a notebook outside for like the animals and the plants that we've seen in our neighborhood. We have a map now on the wall and are pointing out where the map is, um, where there are certain things on the map and doing activities with the map. We are also doing some hands-on activities with language arts. So for example, we are reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and we were discussing setting and the curriculum suggested doing some sort of project to display the settings covered so far in the book and the child had the idea to do a pop-up book. So we made a little pop-up book with the settings and some of the things that had happened so far in the book and we'll probably add to that. So definitely hands-on activities are keeping engagement high and are making the day go smoothly. A couple of days this week we actually sort of finished a little bit before 12 o'clock with regards to the topics and the activities that we wanted to cover. So I think we're going to look at extending some of the opportunities, extending some of the discussion or the activities so that we can get that full time. Um, also though, I do have some more books and another curriculum that's still coming. We're still waiting on that. So when those get here, then we'll sort of reassess where we are and hopefully a lot of those things will be coming in the mail soon and I can show you all of the additional things that we have because right now we're just doing things based off of what we were able to do from the digital downloads and the online programs that we have access to. They've really been enjoying Spanish and that's really exciting to see that a new language that we thought might be really kind of challenging is something that they've really picked up and embraced and are incorporating into their play later. So that is basically a short, sweet update on week two. Um, not a whole lot that we're changing up for week three. I think we've kind of found a rhythm that works for us, but as the rest of the curriculum arrives, we'll try out some different things play around with some different things, and I'll keep you updated. So thanks again for checking in, and feel free to share any information about how your weeks are going. Bye.